Today we will host a calendar application, uh, a CalDev server by Cal. It's a lightweight open source project and really easy to set up. CalDev is an internet standard protocol to communicate, to manage calendar applications, schedule meetings, things like that. And the reason I opted for Bikel, it is really lightweight and easy to set up. It's a Docker, uh, this is a community maintained Docker project. You can go over here and copy this line and paste it. But I prefer the Docker Compose way. Uh, it is much organized and uh, I can store data as I want to, okay? You don't need to specify version now because it's uh, deprecated. Just copy this much and we will create a Docker Compose file. So we can do paste and if I open Docker Compose, you can see uh, we are running a uh, Bikel image. Restart always means whenever you restart your system, it will always be up and running. So you don't have to restart again and again. I'm exposing it on port 80. You can choose different port. That's fine for me. Then specify on your host system where you want to store the configuration. It means like whenever you create an event and user, you don't have to uh, create a new user again and again. You can back up these folders and just go, okay? It's just one time setup. For that, we are storing all the configuration on our host system. We can use Docker volumes, but I prefer uh, mounting to the volumes, host system, file system. So here is it. Now I will go Docker compose up minus D4 detach mode. It should take like a few seconds. But if you haven't pulled, it should be up and running and under a minute. Okay. So I'll go over here. You can type uh, 1 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. I prefer 127 0 0 .0 And here you can see this is Bical interface. You can select your time zone and card dev. Card dev is related to other things like uh, saving your contacts, address books, and things like that. You can disable it if you want to. I will keep it enable, but we are interested into CalDev. So check it. You don't have to specify an email address, but you can if you want to. Speaking of email addresses, if I come over here, there are different type of files. So if you want to set up an SMTP server or you want to use Gmail as an SMTP server to set up email addresses, you can use this pre-built configuration provided by the Bical itself. Okay, it's a community maintained project. And to backup, you can backup uh, all the configuration that will be storing on our host system. Um, using s3 bucket okay and it should it will be automated so you don't need to worry about it let's get back to the interface now to get started you gotta create an admin password and i'm creating an admin password uh sorry okay i didn't match it okay, um, okay now uh after creating an admin account you gotta choose a database you can choose mysql or postgresql for most cases, like for most cases, SQLite is just okay. Otherwise, you will have to host in MySQL server, things like that. I don't recommend it. You are running it locally on your system. You don't need to worry about it. And even if you have thousands of users, it's not required to have a different dedicated server. SQLite is just okay. Okay, it just works. So don't worry about it. Just click continue. Start using CalDAP. Now log in with the password that we provided as admin account. An admin account cannot have a calendar. Just keep in mind, it's just to manage this interface. So we have users, CalDev, we have zero users, zero CalDev, zero context, zero address books. So for that, we need to create a new user. Let's click on user and resources, add user, enter the username. I'll go with John and John um, Hammond. And here you have to specify email address. It doesn't have to be a real email address. You can specify it. Set up, to set up a real email address, you got to set up a SMTP server that I just showed you. Now enter the password. I'm entering a very really insecure password, but you get the point. Now I have an account here, John. Okay. I will click on the calendar here. Again, I will show you. Okay, what did I just do? Let's log in again. Okay. Let's go to users and calendar. Now, by default, you will get one calendar by default. You can add more calendar if you want to. I'll click on edit and enable notes. I if you want to save notes, I recommend it save them okay so click on save after that uh, come back and uh, click on this i button and copy this path this path will be used to communicate with this caldev server i'll copy it and now you can use any uh, calendar client in this case we will be using morgan to connect this caldev server so i will go into preferences from the settings on the calendar on external accounts i can select external account or 
about calendars so i will go go through the calendars add a calendar and if you don't want to store your data on these servers okay if you don't trust this uh sites or whatever you want to keep your internal matters to yourself then that's why you host calendar server i'll click on it i'll press zone the user that i created you cannot use admin account the password and the server you are in connect here we go we have the default calendar continue you should connect to uh morgan cloud to save your tasks and sync with mobile phones and things like that i'll skip for it for now okay now if i create a task here uh this okay this is my first task this is my test two okay and i can create over here test three and i can add some notes if i want to save now we have this calendar client uh the calendar uh server connected to the morgan as a calendar client if i come over here and go to the calendar i can see i have three events that we just created over here so that's how easy it is to set up calendar uh, application locally now you don't have to save or share your data with anybody one thing to keep uh, in mind if you are self-hosting other services like next cloud own cloud then calda as a service comes pre-packaged with them so you don't have to store or host by cal okay so that's all for today i hope it was helpful